When it comes to being in control, I want to show you an example of what that means and how that can help you as a craftsperson. What we do is decorative painting. Sometimes we do faux painting, which means to falsify or mimic things. Here's an example of a falsified or faux painted metallic copper finish. This is an anaglypta paper, which is a pressed wallpaper, and we usually install it on the ceiling. Then we'll go over the top of it with some paints and glazes to make it look like it's a real copper ceiling. Now, without a full range of control, sometimes this can look cheesy. You take a single color of copper, paint it up on the wall, and it doesn't look so real. But this has not only the color, but the texture, sheen, and geometry of that finish. So if you notice, there's darker bits of color here and lighter bits of color in the background there, as well as where the green color was washed in there, it's actually a matte, which is what would happen as the copper actually oxidized. And then over the top has been dry brushed a shinier copper that actually gives that impression of hand rubbed or worn through. With these elements all present on this type of a finish, you have a greater accuracy in this faux painting of a metal patina. By having a toolkit that gives you the full range of control over the sheen and color and all those other elements, you can be more accurate as a faux painter and as a decorative painter for your clients. And this makes you more desirable to your designers. More in demand means good cash.